this city beautification, uh, making sure that people get uh, facilities that they never thought that they should have, like walk paths and all those kinds of things. You all did it tremendously well back uh, from 2009 up until 2015. That was like even the current president was well known for bringing Colombo back into its supreme level. Um, now, why is that important for, for, for this government? Because everybody can argue, why do we need, I mean, like, just like how they said, why do we need a highway? Uh, uh, why do we need this at this time? Why not push it back later on and do it at some other time? Well, if you look at our promise, product to citizen, happy family, all those things are involved here. No? We have to create an environment which are pleasant for people to live. People's living standards must go up. So that is where uh, city beautification, housing, walking tracks, all this come into play because they are all part of the promise. So if you promise something that we have to deliver. So uh, the, the ministry has a lot to do in that area and we are currently doing that. Take housing for example. Now 2015-2019 uh, government built only 450 houses. Houses in the sense, not, not just houses. House. No, no, I'm, I'm talking talk urban houses, right? Urban houses, which came under Megapolis Ministry, 450 houses for the whole five years. And even out of that, not all were completed. By the time we came to power, we finished the others. So far, under my ministry, we have we have started constructing 10,500 uh, 10, houses. Compare the two. And we are going for a target Which of... Which areas? Yeah? Which areas? It's mostly Colombo, Gampaha and the other cities. What's the requirement of houses uh, within the entire country? It is, it's, 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 it's a lot more, right? Government cannot go and build houses alone, but what we must do is, one, government must send a train. The pace must be set and we must get the private sector involved. So our plan, is during the next five years, within our ministry, which comes under uh, cabinet ministry, the prime minister himself, we are targeting 300,000 houses, of which my ministry will do about 60,000 uh, uh, the, the, the apartments. Uh, 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 then... Is this, uh, is this for low incomers? No, no, not for low income. Low income, uh, middle income, upper middle income, all categories. And even, we are even building some luxury apartment to set a, set a, set a pace, to set the prices right. Uh, and we are expecting a lot of private sector companies to come in work with us. When you're doing those kinds of things, then you all should have uh, analyzed how the trend of economy is going to act in, in the next three years, four years, five years down the line. So what, what are you seeing that, because for us, sitting here at this particular point, everybody is talking about doom and gloom, oh, everything is going to go down under. But what exactly are you seeing that we are not seeing? Property will have a demand, definitely, now with the interest being low. And uh, Colombo property prices are already going up and that will happen in the other cities as well. So people will invest in property and there's a demand for that. So we must cater to the demand. But at the same time, another thing that we are trying to do is to keep the prices at a reasonable level. If you allow it totally in the hands of the private sector, I mean they have no that kind okay. of pri government, uh, the, the public obligation. No? The prices are very high, pretty. If you look at the uh, semi-luxury, luxury houses are far expensive. And for the middle class, the private sector is not building any houses. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to build houses for the middle class and also show that the semi-luxury houses also can be done at a reasonable price. One of the accusations that continually was uh, pointed towards development, uh, the urban development ministry and all, all that is that, you know, you're only doing this in Colombo. You're not taking care of people in maybe Jaffna, in, in those areas. No, that's wrong. Actually, actually, now that you mentioned, all the cities that you mentioned, we are building houses. We are building houses in Skandi, we are building houses in Andhrapura, we are planning to build houses in Jaffna. It is all over the country. Of course, Colombo and Gampa are the largest two populations. So they, they, their need is greater. So there has to be a greater focus in those two districts, but we are going over.